I had the opportunity to interview a few of TJB's old friends and mods slash admins. These witnesses pleaded to me of what they had experienced, and today I wanted to give everyone who came to me an opportunity to share their voices and grant them the ability to express what they had encountered firsthand. Um, TJV, no. you better spawn at some point. Stop being a little baby. You know, I gave you enough time. You've had enough time, but instead you decided to do Tic Tac reactions at Tic Tac. That reminds me, <laughs> you do have a Tic Tac. You're, you're literally acting. Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to continue. Whatever. Well, being called out for being a massive hypocrite, backtracking statements, and being creep to former staff members. Also calling people pedophiles with no evidence to back it up. A real specimen of a man. But it's like some people make videos for just abuse. Others do it to, you know, put out the truth. So, you know, go with that as you will. Some of the points of this hypocrisy and even debunked one of the claims that he made against a person that he knew. I can see, like, why they make these videos. And honestly, they have the right to. And to take down TJ when we wrong. I saw TJ rise to the top at some point, but if he doesn't get under control, uh, <laughs> I don't know man, it seems like only bad things are coming. Hello everyone, my name is TJV and this is my response video. This is my response video to all of these videos and stuff about me, and um, if you don't know what's going on, you're confused, you're more than welcome to check all those out. I definitely recommend them to get the full context and be able to form your own opinion. I will be giving a brief recap here in this video, um, but it will be brief and it won't have a lot of details. And uh, I'm not looking to defend myself from every single one of these videos, but I will be defending myself here and there if it ever comes up but that's not the goal of this video. You will soon see what the goal is. Having said that, as a side note, I wanted this video to be prettier, not just film on my webcam, but my battery charger to my camera is missing and I don't know where it is. So I gotta find that. Um, but for the meantime, just gonna use this cause putting out this video quick would piss off a lot less people. When I say quick, I, a month ago I said I was gonna be working on it and I was, I was working on it and I still am to this day I'm recording it. There's a lot of people who are upset that this video is taking a long time so but I'm glad I took the time to work on what I had planned and uh, evaluate that and sort of change things up a bit and I will explain all why here right now. First thing uh, people are upset with me. They have a lot of problems or criticisms about things that I've said, my behavior, my actions of the past, the things that I do now, the content, the videos. Some people have bad experiences with me and that leads to Christmas Eve when Velocity HD uploaded his third video about me, showing a lot of ex-staff members' experiences and opinions and things they wanted to share and expose about me. Now, that video is full of a lot of stuff that I could try to disprove. Um, uh, I guess I'll bring up an example just so I'm not, you know, pulling that out of my and saying, oh, yep, that video is just totally not true. Um, there are elements of it that are obviously are true and things that are happening. It's just a lot of things I think are misrepresented or taken out of context. And there's some things that just are straight up not true. For example, I don't pay artists for their artwork, which just seems like they're trying to low blow me with that. Nobody in this Discord gets paid. And when they want to contribute anything to TJV, they get the cold shoulder. They don't get yep. their compensation. Yep. One of the people being links where I have, you know, the person who contacted the person for the artwork for me, uh, they he shared DM saying that she never discussed anything about money or wanting any money. And then when I contacted her asking her, did you want me to take it down or keep it up or do you not care? Uh, she asked to take it down and I took it down right away. So it seems like a pretty civil uh, resolution to any problem that was there or why she never reached out to me. I have no idea, but it did turn into a point that was made in a video to make me sound worse. Yeah, and I think he is currently using Lynx's art, so she's also in that other GC with everyone in it, and mm -hmm. that's why she's in there. No, I could... It's because he's using her art for merch. There's another artist who I paid for work that I ended up interviewing. Here's that part. So I made the, the like the Discord banner. It had all our faces in it. It was super fun to make. Uh, you initially offered me $100, and I was like, wow, that's still a lot, you know, because people don't usually pay me that much for art, you know? And you actually paid me $200 after I drew after it, so it was like a $100 tip. 
So I never asked you to even pay for that. You paid me what you thought you wanted to pay me. So for Diner to go around saying, oh, he doesn't, you know, pay people for art, blah, 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 blah. That's bullshit because I could go on my Venmo right now and find where you paid me. Another thing that was brought up for the point that I don't pay anybody for their work is that there was this guy um, who didn't ever want to really be involved in any of the stuff that was brought up. Uh, the song at the beginning of his channel was by his brother-in-law. Uh-huh. Never paid him. So I ended up interviewing him, and uh, he had this to say about the whole thing. So back in 2020, around the time that your server was starting to gain some fraction, I remember coming to you and talking to you about working together in some capacity. Didn't know what at the time. I ended up writing a song for you. It was like a minute and a half song, I think that you could use in your videos. The final outcome of the conversation was, yeah, I'm not too worried about the money. And we were just going to basically use the song as, you know, to help you and somewhat promote the music I was making at the time. Um, there was, at a later date, there was a disagreement that you and I had that I incited because of personal problems that were going on in my life that was uh, very, very wrong of me to to get into. But that was not because I felt that I was owed anything or I felt that you deserve to pay me. We had never talked about any sort of payment. And I'm sure that if we had, it would have been figured out a professional way. Mention of it, sure. But we never actually sat down and had a legitimate conversation about this is how much I want to give you for this. This is how much um, you deserve for this. I was just more happy for you to use the song because I felt it would be promotion for me. Um, a lot of my personal experiences with people, maybe people who necessarily didn't want to be involved or did want to be involved, were included all in this and stuff like that. And there, again, there's just a lot of things that I can bring up. And this was a lot of the stuff that I was working on. But since I've changed my mind on a lot of stuff about how I wanted to handle this, so I will not be including every little point that they bring up to try to disprove, even though that was the original plan. Instead, I wanted to sit here and take the time to understand um, more what they're trying to criticize me about and understand that I might be really mad and angry right now about Velocity's video and all these other videos coming out about me, but just take a moment to relax and stop being bitter over it. And that's exactly how I was. I was very, very bitter about all of it. Um, so much to the point where I would just keep it all bottled up inside because I didn't want to talk to anybody about it. I never talked to my girlfriend, my friends, anybody about it. And when those videos did come out and they asked me about it, I was like, I'll make a response to it and I'm working on it, but it's whatever. And um, I was, I was very, very bitter about it. And uh, you guys are the only ones that have ever heard me say that. I still to this day have not not really told anybody how I felt when those videos came out and I think that bitterness and that anger and that rage and that you know me being upset and disappointed that all this stuff had to happen I think that's what motivated me to want to make the video and I have a incomplete timeline and an outline of everything set up still it's just about a couple weeks ago I realized you know what I'm not really being true to what I said I would I mean these guys are focusing a lot on small itty bitty stuff here and there to try to make me look bad and I think that's ridiculous I took a step back and realized that I did the same thing with several people before and it's not necessarily the way I want to go on being a hypocrite my entire life and criticizing other people for doing things that I've done before so Velocity HD never reaching out to hear my side well I never reached out to hear Louis Caliber's side and I probably should have. Some of my ex-staff members uh, talking to Velocity and being in that interview and that video of Velocities and focusing on all these little things and dragging them along as if I'm this big, bad, terrible person. I focused on very little itty bitty stuff that Mini Lad or Omrecker did. And I covered videos on every little thing that they did. So I did the same thing that they were doing. So I'm not going to sit here and want to be a hypocrite, obviously. So there was a huge lack of accountability in myself for a very long time and I'm gonna date this all the way back to fall of 2020 where I started popping off and I feel like that I've never really had anybody to sit here and hold me accountable a lot of people related with me on the whole mini land thing where he was their favorite because he was my favorite content creator before all that stuff happened 
and I was following his content very closely. But when I heard all that stuff that was happening, um, I got really upset and I got bitter again. And a lot of people related with me on that. And I feel like that was a huge thing that, you know, helped me out is that, you know, not only was I covering that, I was also just really upset about that. And I had that element and I felt like over time that relatability kind of spaced out more and more and more because I just was never accountable for anything that I was doing. I mean, I, yes, I would receive hate every once in a while or whatever, but I still had the masses and all that. And I still sat here and I thought that it will blow over and ain't that going to be that big of a deal. And I still to this day believe that this stuff could blow over easily. It's just I'm taking a different approach about it. Instead of sitting here trying to defend myself and dig myself out of this hole, which I probably could do, probably couldn't do. I have no idea. I don't know what would have happened. I instead was thinking, let's just say that you screwed up quite a bit of times, um, no matter how big or how small, but take them all as the same way, you know, they're all learning lessons and become better from that. And then eventually, the more and more you learn, uh, the fewer mistakes you make in life. And um, I think the biggest problem is that I bring up a lot about my moral arguments and my viewpoints and how they're really tied to my morals, and my viewpoints. Um, but the way I act in person is very different from the way I act here. And I want to be able to fix that and make that a bit better. Um, for example, I don't go out and nitpick every little thing that people do. So why the hell am I doing it here? I'm not just rude and disrespectful right off the bat with people. So why am I doing it here? Why am I rude and disrespectful all the time to people online? So I understand that this video is really set up for people just to crap on me and say, oh, I was right, I was right. And they have every right to do that. It's not really gonna upset me anymore. The whole bitterness and the rage and the anger and the upset and me being sad or whatever the case may be it's kind of come and gone I understand that it's gonna happen I've always understand that you're gonna get hate but what I'm really hoping for is for legit criticisms going forward in the future I am looking for anybody who wants to comment on my videos and I'm not referring to anybody specifically but I feel like that instead of this being a content farm and having a bunch of videos and things being made. I mean, I could have called out like Chilled Venom and Sen and all this other stuff about all that, but it would have just started a more content for them, more content for me. And, and I never really felt like that was really gonna get anywhere. So instead, I wanna take this more as a learning experience and say officially that I was wrong about some things and I'm not gonna clarify on which, cause again, it's a long story, but I do wanna say that there are a lot of things that aren't true in those videos that are misrepresented and things that I know that better lies but I'm not here to defend myself. If you want to go feed into that and believe everything that is being said about me, feel free to do that. I just know where I screwed up and where I made my mistakes. And to that, I want to apologize to anybody who I've made content about where I was wrong and I screwed up um, and not either reaching out for both sides or not trying to understand or just handling it very poorly. I want to say sorry to anybody in my Discord who had a bad experience with me, um, even though I don't think I necessarily did anything wrong or I never really made any mistakes in my discord on handling any of the situations if anyone had a bad experiences i sympathize and i'm saying i'm sorry about all that and i want to say sorry to anybody who was disappointed in the person i was either becoming or the person i was um appearing as i want to be able to learn from all of that and become better so like i said um, that's going to be the response video. Another way that this could help you guys is if you guys have any personal beefs, which I recommend handling in private with me. Uh, there's ways to reach out. For example, my email. Anybody's welcome to email that and tell me your criticism about me. I will be doing a live stream. So if you want this to be on the record and public, I have no problem talking about it during a live stream. Um, I probably will live stream later tonight. If not, it will be tomorrow. Don't know an exact time, but I can try to update you on my community tab or on my twitter or something about that but anyways thank you guys for watching the video um didn't really mention much about what's actually in those videos but more that i will take accountability for my actions and that i will try to be better um i'm glad that i had that weird self-discovery part where i can take a back and learn a bit more from that i know it might take time for people to even believe that that's happening but to those who are believing it and support it. Uh, thank you guys very much and I really appreciate it. I guess like and subscribe and do all that other good stuff and I will see you guys all later. Bye.